Thank you for joining me as I share my thoughts, along with a million other people, on Deadpool and Wolverine. Let's be honest, Deadpool and Wolverine is basically a swan song to 20th Century Fox. And you know what? I love the fact that they properly said goodbye to 20th Century Fox. I think that was brilliant. It's brilliant. That's what I that was my takeaway from the movie because there's nothing really else to talk about other than the fact that it serves the purpose of what it's supposed to do and the fact that a the fact that it grows so much money is a testament to the f idea that people really just want to not think for a minute. It's the summer. And they just want to laugh and be goofy and not worry about a thing. And you know what? Deadpool and Wolverine delivers on all accounts. It is ridiculous. It's funny. It is meta, you know, it's Ryan Reynolds being Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, you know, when he is doing his waiting impression, right? So it is just a lot of fun. If you, I'm sure there's a bunch of people who have seen it like three times or friends of mine in my circle probably hadn't seen it at all. So if you're like joining in now and you're watching this, Again, I'm not going to give anything away other than the fact that it's a swan song to 20th Century Fox, and that's great. I mean, they poke fun at Disney, they poke fun at uh, Wolverine being back, and he'll be back for the next, until he's 90, so it's, it's just goofball sarcasm. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Did I enjoy myself? Absolutely. I watched it with an amazing crowd. They clapped and cheered all you know, at the right time and um, for the right reveals and the Easter eggs. So, you know, it was, that's what makes it a lot of fun, right? That's why I said in my, my minute video to just go and enjoy yourself. Don't worry about anything. Buy popcorn and go and be with a crowd that really wants to be there and have fun. Because that's what this movie is. It's just for you to go out and have fun. If you read into it or go into the Marvel Universe and try to start picking things apart or whatever, then, you know, you're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah, back in the day, I worked on a Sean Levy film, and I, I just remember him always on his cell phone. In fact, you know, 30 Rock did a, uh, a thing with him, and he was on the cell phone. That's the only thing I remember of Sean Levy. Um, but he's come a long way since I, I worked on, with, on Night at the Museum. So it was... It's good to see how he's really embraced visual effects. And, he, you know, he, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Again, I can nitpick all day. I think we all can. But what's the point? There is no point in that. Is it for everybody? If you don't like crass humor and vulgarity and extreme violence, then no. <laughs> it's not for you. But then I'm sure you haven't seen Deadpool 1 and 2. In fact, my wife has only seen the first quarter of Deadpool, and she's out. So, this is not a movie. Well, you know, I did tell her that uh, this might be the one for her to watch. She's actually a big... Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive into a spoiler. If you have not seen Loki on Disney+, Plus, then you probably should watch that before you go see Deadpool Wolverine. So, uh, she's a big fan of Loki, um, so that kind of piqued her interest. She loves Hugh, Hugh Jackman, so... Um, she kind of gets the idea by putting those things together, how that all works out. Um, but no, let's go back to the swan song, the 20th century Fox paying tribute to a lot of the characters in that universe, uh, who held, uh, that IP. So it is, uh, it was nice. It was good. I'm glad they did it. I'm glad they did it that way. Um, I'm glad they pay tribute to it and in the credits that's not giving away anything uh there is an end credit scene so there's that if you hadn't seen it yet um or if you've seen it and you watch this and you miss that there is an end credit scene so um yeah that's that's all i got for y'all i love the fact that you could go in be a part of a group of people who are into this universe and enjoy it and just sit there and listen to them have a good time and not be obnoxious about it and just to have fun 
It wasn't the Comic-Con that I was hoping, um, but it was uh, the t-shirts of the X-Men and some Deadpool stuff, so um, well, mostly Wolverine. So, yeah. Other than that, those are my thoughts. I would like to hear your thoughts on Deadpool and Wolverine and, you know, what's next for it. Tell me your thoughts on what's going to be next for Deadpool and Wolverine. Whether to do some cocaine. Hey, cocaine is the one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching belt? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. 